Hello yoga friends and welcome to another yoga story with Leanne. Uh, my name is Leanne and if you're new here, awesome. And if you're coming back, so glad that you're back for more yoga with the story. Come on down to the floor. So we're going to begin seated in our favorite uh, yoga, crisscross yoga sauce position. Hopefully you're wearing something comfortable and hopefully you have a few minutes of time to dedicate to yourself and to your yoga practice and to a little bit of fun and uh, let's just dive right in. So come on into your body. That's where you already are, but land, really, really land in yourself, with yourself. Close your eyes if you feel safe and take a deep breath in through your nose. And a long breath out with a sigh. <sighs> Those deep breaths feel really good. Let's do them again, this time adding the arms. Deep breath in. And a long sighing breath out. <sighs> Raining your fingers down, releasing any stress or worries. One more time, make this the biggest breath you've taken all day. Hold it at the top and then release it, <sighs> wiggling and raining all of your worries away. You made it. Put your hands on your knees. Let's do some rolling around. We're going to think about what it's like when we do cat pose and cow pose, rounding our back and flattening our back. So open your chest like cow pose. You can even move on that way around and meow. When you come around the other way, just switching directions. Moo when you breathe in, moo. Meow. Make it a little more enthusiastic than that. A nice big moo. And a nice long meow as you round your back and hold it here. Halloween cat. And open your chest and look up. Great job. Let's do a little twist over to one side. And a twist over to the other side. And give yourself a great big hug. Hold it there, squeeze, lift up your elbows, and release, hug with the other way, other arm on top, hug, hold it there, lift your elbows up, breathe. <sighs> Excellent. All right, come onto your hands and knees with me. We just warmed up, so we know all about cat and cow, so the same thing. We're going to do our Cat and cow this way, nice wide hands, breathe in for our cow and breathe out for our cat. Yeah. Two more, breathe in. And one, a, a meow, moo, a meow it out. And last one like this. And hold it up here, hold it, hold it, hold it. And release. All right, are you ready? Let's start our yoga story. I don't know if you noticed, but I brought some, um, a little bit of a change here today. There are some dragons in the picture because, you guessed it, today we're going to a yoga story that's about a dragon who was different. So for the different dragon yoga story, we're going to begin standing. So come on up to a standing position. When you arrive, um, I want you to begin in a nice tall standing position with some volcano arms. So breathe your volcano arms up and down and up and down. All right, a long time ago in a land called Dragon Town, there was a dragon who was different. Now you might recognize dragons for being fierce and for breathing fire and for being strong. So we're gonna come into dragon pose and practice being fierce and strong like all the dragons in Dragon Town. One foot in front, one foot in back. You can bend your front knee and you can even bend your back knee here in a, in a lunge position, in a low lunge. Get nice and strong and bendy here. And we're going to be fierce dragons, breathing your arms up, nice volcano arms, nice and strong. And then you're also going to breathe your arms forward and that's going to be your fire. <sighs> really bend into that one. So breathe your arms up, fierce dragon, and a fire breathing dragon. And something else that dragons do a lot is they are flying dragons. So find your balance on one foot 
and leaning forward and be a flying dragon. Fierce, flying, fire breathing dragons. Very nice. I see many dragons out there looking great. Let's change legs. Other foot comes in front. Get nice and bendy. Volcano arms, fierce dragon arms. And breathe that fire. <sighs> Wiggle your fingers, make it really, really hot. And be a flying dragon. Other leg. Find your balance, lean forward, and fly. So all the dragons in Dragon Town were fierce, flying, fabulous dragons, but there was a dragon that was a little bit different. A much smaller dragon who was also a little bit timid. This timid dragon didn't feel the same as the others, didn't feel fierce, um, didn't feel loud or intimidating. This dragon, in fact, was... Um, very sort of calm and liked to really hang out on the forest floor with all the forest creatures. So come on back down to the floor. So when you're on the floor, come onto your tummy and we're going to come into snake pose because as you can imagine, snakes are along the forest floor. So a little snake. Snakes were the dragon's friend. When you come on up, Hold it here, look over one shoulder. This little dragon liked to play with the snakes. This little dragon also liked to play with the lizards. Bring one foot forward into lizard pose. Come onto the inside, lift up your back knee and look up. And then bring both feet behind you. Let's switch legs and be a lizard on the other side. So this dragon liked to play with lizards and snakes. This dragon liked to read books. Very different from the fierce dragons we were just talking about. And this dragon also liked to bring your feet together, hang out and play with the hedgehogs. So come to your back. And hold on to your feet. And tuck your knees and nose close to each other into a little hedgehog pose. And breathe. So the little dragon was confused about why he felt so different from all the other dragons. Why can't I breathe fire? Why don't I feel fierce and strong? Why is my voice much smaller than the other dragons? He was really confused, but days went by and that's just the way it was until one day something very different happened in Dragon Town. A circus came through the town with trains filled with circus animals and circus creatures from your wildest imagination. So let's stand up and practice some of those fun circus yoga poses. There were acrobats. Hmm. Get your hands ready to kick your feet up and be an acrobat. They were acrobat. Hope you have a lot of space for this one. Make sure you have space. Put your hands down and kick your feet up. Acrobats, one more time. The, the dragon thought this was so cool. I think you will too. There were acrobats, there were all kinds of balancers on, you know, um, acrobats also balancing. Find your tree pose and be a balancing circus acrobat. Very, very cool. Try the other leg. Find your balance. Be a balancing circus acrobat on this side. This little dragon thought, oh, I've never seen anything so cool in my life. There were also um, seals. So come on down and, and be a seal. Or, 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 and even clap your feet. Or, 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 and balance a ball on your nose. Breathe. Seals. It was just the most amazing thing that this little dragon had ever seen. His little heart was beating really quickly and he was feeling a joy that he never felt before. Just then, just when he thought things couldn't get any better he saw a juggling clown. A juggling clown, my friends. Can you imagine that? Well, this dragon thought, what is this juggling clown business? And he watched and his heart was beating. And just then behind him, the clown went boo. And the dragon was so, so concerned and timid. I'm sorry, I just thought, I was just watching. I'm so sorry. And the clown invited this tiny little dragon to 
to, to come and hang out and play and maybe even learn to juggle. Let's stand up. Back into that dragon pose. One foot in front, one foot in back. Now something amazing happened to our timid little dragon. Something different, something changed. So remember the fierce dragons from Dragon Town? Well, when you lift your arms up and feel into the fierceness of that dragon, that timid dragon started to feel fierce, just like that. And then we have flying dragon, find your balance. The little timid dragon learned how to fly and breathe here. But the best part about what happened in the story is that the, the dragon also learned how to breathe fire. The minute he learned how to juggle, he, he breathes fire, he felt fierce, he felt powerful, and he felt strong. So flying, fierce, juggling, amazing dragon. Do the same thing on the other leg, and I want you to feel all of those feelings, all of the power, the strength, of being all of those things. So really in a nice, powerful dragon pose, bend and breathe and fire and fly. Very, very strong. And last time, give it all you've got, my little yogis. So cool. The best thing happened. This little fire breathing, juggling dragon joined the circus and became the star of the show. He traveled in the train with all of the animals. People came from near and far to see the most fierce, fabulous, fantastic juggling circus dragon in the world. But that little dragon didn't forget the friends on the forest floor. He came back every year to make sure to play with them and read some books too. I hope you enjoyed that story. Let's close our yoga practice today with a great, big, powerful breath up and a long, powerful breath out all the way to your heart. Feel into your own fierce, strong self, whoever you are and wherever you are. I hope that you enjoyed practicing being a dragon with me. <sighs> and you're stronger and better every time you do yoga. So I'm proud of you for doing this today and for showing up. Take a moment, relax your arms, congratulate yourself, and we'll see you again for another yoga story really soon. Bye for now. <sighs>